Rainbow Robot Blur. Oh no, that's not good. Somehow we lost all of our water. What? The water that was in the reactor that was getting turned into steam uh, disappeared when I rebuilt the reactor. Deactivate the turbine. Oh no, no, that's wrong. Yay, the water is full. Okay, and if we turn this on temporarily, and the water will turn into steam. Yes, okay. That's probably enough water. Let's activate the turbine, and it turns, excellent. Turn on reactor. Yeah, now the insertion rate is only like 60. That means that we can definitely put those gold blocks back in. So we have to turn off the reactor. We'll turn it off. There we go. We're going to have to adjust the flow rate because um, it will take more water to run eight blocks than uh, blo to run a coil with eight blocks of gold. So I need a good axe. Have you checked your present yet? No, I'm coming home right now. Okay. Hey, we're in the green zone again. A mattock and an obsidian paxel? Yes. So the mattock is everything but a pickaxe. And the Paxel yeah. is everything but a hoe. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Eight of ten blades. Okay. So we could actually add more blades to this rear bind. Well, we're not going to do that this time. But uh, given that the reactor seems to be able to power it much more efficiently now. Yeah, with only about half of what it can uh, could produce. Uh, we'll probably expand the turbine next time.
And the Matic is self-repairing. The other one, the Paxil, you cannot make self-repairing. So. Yeah. It is Unbreaking 3, which is very yeah, impressive. Unbreaking 3, yeah. Okay, we'll leave it at 244 millibuckets per tick. And as you can see, the core heat is much lower in this case. As a result, fuel is being used much slower, and we ought to get a lot more ores next time when we check this. So one thing I was thinking I would do would be to build um, a deep storage for our ender pearls, since we're starting to have quite a few stacks of ender pearls in the sorting system. So we need plastic sheets, ender pearls, eye of ender, and a factory machine block. Oh, we had exactly 256 under pearls before this. There we go, a deep storage unit. There we go. All of our ender pearls are now in a deep storage unit. Well, good news, my, uh, my miner turned up, oh wait, oh, <laughs> they're on the ground next to me because I didn't have any room in my inventory. I was about to tell you how many I had. I don't know how many I had. Okay, let's find out. There we go. 64 plus 8 more emeralds. Hmm. Ooh. What? I can now sell the villager two wheat to get a honeycomb. Oh, cool. That's very handy. I now have five monastic queens. Cool. 
Yay, there seems to now be quite a bit of space in the sorting system. What would I need to hook up the deep storage unit to the sorting system? I would need right an interface pipe and an item broadcaster chip. Routed interface pipe. And it requires routed junction pipe. I have some routed junction pipe. Cool. Redstone, like so, gold, like so, magenta, illumar, all around the outside. Melodic writing chip. And we have an item broadcaster chip. Excellent. Configure it. And we take the deep storage unit downstairs with us. We'll see if it shows up in the system. Okay, item broadcaster chip. Deep storage unit. There we go. And with luck. Yes, they show up, and hopefully we can request them as well. Yes! Excellent! Basic logistical transporter there, and I think two is what we need. There we go. Okay, so if we put that there, that should allow enderpearls to go into there. Oh no, we needed one more, that's right. Excellent. And now, I believe that if I put ender pearls in the system, they will end up in the deep storage unit. There you go. Let's see where they go. There they go. And this chest is full. They might still actually go into this chest preferentially, but fortunately the chest is full, so they all went to the deep storage unit, and we now have 251 again. Excellent.
Okay, I'm coming home. Cool. Next Twilight Forest achievement. Is trophied champion claim your title by placing a trophy on the pedestal in the dark forest ruins? So we should each collect up our trophies and head to the dark forest. Oh, what are we doing with mana beans? Anything? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they do yet because we haven't really done much thumbcraft. Are there any in the sorting system? Um, you can check and see. I, I would say it'd be better to take them to spawn, even if there are some in the, in the sorting system, and put them in the Thaumcraft chest. I thought we were going to melt down these golden swords. Oh, did I not? Where are they? They're in the ender chest. Oh, yeah, I haven't been looking in the ender chest, uh, because uh, I didn't know who was putting stuff in there, and I, I, did, I didn't really need any more you know, uh, books or anything. The the high chest I put up here is yeah. all full of golden stuff that we could melt down into gold. Oh, okay. Uh, well, we can only melt down the stuff that is uh, fully repaired. Yeah, I know, but I can repair it with levels I have, right? I guess. I don't know. That seems a little wasteful, but you can if you want. This golden sword we could certainly melt down. Well, I'll go melt down this sword. That's also kind of what a lot of the swords in this chest are, so I suppose I could move the ones that I intend to do that to into that chest. So we have all of the ones that we're intending to, uh, to melt down eventually in the same chest. Oh, I do have two steel chest plates. That's interesting. They're not sorting together in the chest, so I didn't notice them. It's... Okay, there we go. That's all in place. Now, what I don't know is if we can use the same pedestal, but I think I know where two pedestals are. I think. Um, I've located one that's quite a ways from here, and I think I'll head to that one. Um, but there's also the dark forest that's near the, uh, the Hydra, and there's probably one there. Now that's quicker to get to, so I'd suggest you go to that one and explore around trying to find a clearing, while I go to the clearing that I know exists but is very far away. How's that sound? So you want me to go to the Hydra? and uh, then just go to the nearby dark forest and look for a clearing. It'll probably be easiest to do that from above. All right, I have arrived on Hydra Hill. I have my trophies. Okay. So check the map to see where the dark forest is. I Oh, I seem to have found a angry wolf. And I killed it with one blow. That was weird. And what did I get? Arctic fur, huh? Which I have not textured. 
I didn't count on running into a winter wolf, and especially not in killing it. I guess it must have just wandered out of the winter biome, and maybe they just don't have much uh, strength when they're not out, not in their main territory. Because they're pretty darn scary when they are. How are you doing? Have you located the dark woods? I have. I'm about to step into it. Have you climbed up to the canopy yet? No. Going high seems pretty dangerous too, to be totally honest. Well, it shouldn't make you go blind anymore now that we've done the thing we did last time. Oh, really? Okay, yes, I'm in the dark forest and I can still see. Yay. But it is still very dark. In the dark forest. Okay. It's very pretty up here. It reminds me of, uh, like, there should be black butterflies and I'd be Bilbo. Yeah. <laughs> so Alright, so looking what do I do? for a place probably near the center where there is a clearing. It turns orange over here. That's, yeah, that might be it. Is there a clearing in the orange part? Uh, not that I can see. I just see orange. There seemed to be a clearing in the middle of the orange part There's that I found. something appearing in the sky. Something appearing in the sky? Yeah. There isn't any weather, is there? No. Huh. I mean, it's possible the pedestal's up in the sky. Some kind of pylon? Well, I'll have to see what I think when I see one. Oh. Oh? It's now, it's now filling in. It looks like a castle. Okay. Yeah, that's possible. Ab above the canopy. Okay. Uh, is there a... Uh... Uh, my biome has changed to Dark Forest Center. Okay. Um, but is is there a anything beneath it in the in the, no, in the dark forest? I'm I'm all I can see is the top of the canopy, and then this big thing that's rising through the canopy. Hmm. I don't think that's the right thing though. That may be the place we're going next. Okay. Well, I found it. Yeah, but you still need to find the clearing. I don't think we can go up there until we found the clearing. And there's water coming out of it here. That's interesting. It's massive. Yep. They are. That's probably going to be the Tower of the Orgast. Oh. I just got Sparkle Visions. Okay. You know the Sparkle Visions that tell you not to go any further? Yep. That's what I meant by weather. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Because sometimes it's weather rather than sparkles. Hmm. Okay, I have arrived at my... Uh, my dark forest, and I am also successfully in it. Okay, I've reached the part where my leaves start to turn orange. And now I'm at a place where there is a pool of lava in the trees. Oh, and there's my tower. But it's elsewhere. Yeah, I um, I can't tell if this is going to be the edge of the dark forest 
or clearing. It looks like it's full of mushroom trees. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be the mushroom forest. Okay, I have found a clearing, but it seems to be a lake, so maybe it isn't the right clearing. It may just be a lake. Oh, well, I'm going to go dive in the lake, and we'll see what's here. It's not a very deep lake, and indeed, I do not see anything that looks like a pedestal. Let's chop down some darkwood trees just for fun. As I'm walking around, my map is updating. Uh huh. So where before I had gray trees, I now have dark green trees on the map. Yeah, but that so that I... happened to me earlier before we actually did the thing we did last time, which is weird. Oh, really? Well, in any case, I can see where I've been and where I haven't, which is convenient. Oh yeah, I suppose so. That's good for exploring. Oh, hello. Who hit me, and why? I'm very hungry suddenly. I'm gonna have to pay attention to that, because that came on very suddenly. I heard a dog, or a wolf probably. Oh, I hear a zombie now. Oh wow. Takes a long time to break darkwood leaves. Okay, I have found a clearing. Oh, okay. Is there a, a pedestal? Lake in it. Um not that I can see from the sky. Is it a lake? Yep, it's got a lake in it. Hmm. Any idea what the pedestal would look like? Um it's a block so it's only one block in size. Mm. I textured it today, so. What and it color just, uh, is it? It's a little thin for a block, you know. It's not quite full full block width, and it's kind of marble in color. All right, well, I'm gonna go down in there. I'm gonna have a look underneath the underneath my ta uh, tower and see if. See if there's anything there. Oh, no, okay, so there's the protection field that you didn't go past. Gotcha. Okay. So I probably shouldn't go past that. That was weird. My protection field just disappeared. Did yours disappear ever? Um, so mine only appeared appeared in front of me when I got close to it. Yeah. But I'm I'm back where it was, and I'm not I'm not seeing it. I'm like actually underneath the castle right now and I'm oh. not Oh, there it is. Okay. I was actually a ways inside it. I guess whatever it is that generates it must be further away than the field length. It could be. So
Yeah, so I've, I've searched the entire top of the canopy and there's nothing, so I guess we're going to go down and look for ruins now? Yeah, I guess we're going down and look for ruins. Work in the Twilight Forest is that they occur at regular intervals. So I would suggest starting by going directly northeast, south, or west from the castle. Hell. Are you alright? Uh, I don't know what's going on. Something is throwing me around. Warning, warning, this video is almost over. Warning, warning, it's time to choose another one. This has gone on far too long, time to wake up and sing along. Warning, warning, this video is over now.